everybody, I'm Anna and I'm the director of content production at Burn Creators. I'm going to be starting a new series on this channel where I go through a video each week and study the editing and see if there's anything we can learn. I'm starting this week with a video that I showed as an example in our last meeting, but if you have any suggestions or requests for videos that you want me to go over, please let me know. So this series is mainly going to focus on post-production, on editing and things you can do after you film. But remember that for most of the time, videos are carried by good film. You can't edit anything if you don't have good film to start with. Nevertheless, we're going to look through different editing styles and see what we can learn from videos that we already like to watch. To set up the context for the video that we're going to be watching today, I'm in Korea, so I've been watching a lot of videos in Korean. Today's clip comes from a Korean variety show from a K-pop band. It's called Going 17. And the focus of the show is on humor. So the editing style of this video is very fast-paced and is focused on making the video seem funny. Obviously, when you look at different editing styles, you should look for videos that match the kind of video you're going for. So if you're not making a funny comedy show, this particular editing style may not match very well. Nevertheless, through this example, we're going to look at how sound effects really adds to the coherence of the editing. I think sound effects is something that new editors tend to skip over when it can really add to your video if you just spend the time on it. In this first clip, we're going to actually look at a part of the video that doesn't have much editing done to it so that we can compare. The context is that the members are taking turns giving each other compliments. So let's take a look. Alright, so as you can see, the editing was not that complicated there. It was mainly just cuts and subtitles. And the subtitles were originally in Korean, but I added English ones so you could follow along. Besides the probable color and audio processing that they did, there wasn't much creative editing done to this part of the video. Now let's look at a more edited section from one of the funnier parts of the video. The context here is that one of the members is reading out a situation while another one acts it out. However, the producers didn't think through the script very carefully. <laughs> So you can see how the editing on this one was very different. Compared to the previous clip, which only had cuts and subtitles, this clip also had commentary subtitle labels on the video, which is a common trope in Korean variety show editing. It also utilized a lot of sound effects, and I hope you heard that. It emphasizes the different cuts and the different emotions and cues the viewer on how to feel about the situation. Lastly, they also added some other dramatic zoom cuts. Now we're going to watch that scene again. But this time, watch the top right corner because I've labeled all the sound effects and I've also labeled the zoom cuts and counted the sound effects. So you can see, for a clip that was just 32 seconds long, they fit in 16 sound effects, which is a lot. That's like one every two seconds on average. The different sound effects not only emphasize the cuts and help progress the scene, they make it a lot funnier. If you're looking to get started with sound effects and build a library of sounds to use, I recommend freesound.org, which I'll link in the description. And if any of you guys know of any other resources out there, please feel free to leave it in the comments. So that's all I have for sound effects for today, but I actually want to show a little bit of a bonus clip of another technique that I learned from this video, which is an audio match cut. The context for this clip is that they're coming up with acrostic poems on the spot, where each line starts with the syllables in a word. 
이번에는 에스쿱스부터 가도록 하겠습니다. 어. 카니발로 갈게요. 오케이, 카니발로. 살려야 돼요. 네. 오케이. 시작! 가! 망할래, 엎드려 뻗쳐하고 있어. 엎드려, 우리 엎드려 뻗쳐하고 있다. 엎드려 뻗쳐하고 있다. 가! 네, 그러면 도겸이 갈게요. 네. 가디건. 하나, 둘, 셋, 가! 가. 가을이 왔어요. 가을이 왔어요. 하나, 셋, 디! 딘딘드리드리딘딘드리드리딘딘드리드리 정환이 갈게요. So if you don't know what a match cut is, the film that comes before the cut and the film that comes after the cut shares an identical piece, so it makes a very smooth and snappy transition. I'm sure you've seen these, but you just didn't know it was called a match cut. However, most match cuts these days are visual. What I liked so much about this clip was that it was an audio match cut. It progressed time by matching the sound rather than the video. To be honest, the first time I watched it, it went so fast that I almost couldn't process what happened. But I think it was really smart of the editors to jump to showing that he had failed rather than showing what was in between because that wasn't essential to the story of the scene. Well, today we looked at some Korean variety show editing, but if you have any requests or suggestions for next time, please let me know. Until next week, happy editing!